in year 1 it was decided to make a specific provision for the following doubtful debts a 1900 b 300 c 2680 and d 1380 <clears throat> And a general provision of 5% on the other debtors at the rate of 2,16,000. Successors of A and D sent final dividend of 60840 respectively and C paid his debt in full. In year 2, it was decided to maintain the provision against B's debt and make further provision for the following debts considered doubtful. E1300, F680 and G1020 and a general provision of 5% on other debtors at the rate of rupees 2,60,000. Calculate the provision for doubtful debts for year 1 and year 2. Okay, how do we calculate the provision? The figures are given to us. So, let us just see. Let us take each person individually. They have made. So, they have made an analysis of the debtors and arrived at the provision to be made. <clears throat> so, they have made a provision for A, B, C, D. The provision is how much for A, 1900, for B, 300, for C, 2680, for D1380 and they have also made a general provision of 5% on 2160. 5% on 216,000. This should be 1080. So what is the total provision now if we take a total? Maybe it would be 7340. This is the amount of provision for year 1. What is the entry for creating this provision? Assuming there was no provision before, profit and loss appropriation, sorry, profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts 7340. Next, successors of, what happened in the next year? A and D, successors of A and D sent a final dividend of 60840. That means A and D have been declared insolvent and the final dividend amount received from A is 600. Amount due was 1900. That means an amount of 1300 would be written off as bad debts. Suppose we keep a column received, just for understanding, this is the amount of provision, the amount received for A is 600, bad debt, bad debt is there 4300. Again, in case of B, it was decided to maintain the provision against B's debt. So B, again we will continue to make, in case of B, we will have a provision of 300. This is maintained. C paid his debt in full. So C has paid this. There was a provision. C paid. Sorry. C paid 2680. This B actually there is a provision. Suppose I write provision again. This is year 1 after all. If I write provision here, 300. So, 600, A is taken care of, D is taken care of, B has been taken care of, C, D, 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 what happened? D paid 840. We have not recorded that. 840. That means an amount of so, 840 is the amount received from D and therefore 540 is the amount written off as bad debt. <clears throat> it was decided to maintain the provision against B's debt and make further provision for the following debts considered doubtful. That is E, we have 300, F, 
G1020 and another provision of 5% on the debtors. There is not enough space here. Let us just take it this side. It's the second year. We've taken B's provision. B's provision is 300. What else do we have now? E. 1300. F 680 G 1020 and a general provision of 5% of 260000 that is 1300. What would be the total provision here? The total provision here would be Four thousand six hundred. If we talk of accounting entries, here it is profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts seven thousand three hundred and forty. Profit and loss account debit. To provision for doubtful debts amount of 7340. For the amount received, of course I am not writing the entry, for the amount received we would get bank account debit to debtors, bank account debit to A, bank account debit to C, bank account debit to D. So on money received it would be bank account debit to debtors with the amount which has been received. As for the bad debts, what is the entry for bad debts? Entry for bad debts, let's say would be bad debt account debit. Bad debt account debit to debtor, that is 2A and 2D. I'm just writing debtors here, would be 1840. 1840. This bad debts would be adjusted against the provision. Bad debts would be adjusted against the provision. If we adjust the bad debts against provision, let us create a provision for doubtful debts. We have created by profit and loss account, we had created an amount of 7340 in year 1. This balance was carried down 7340. Balance brought down is 7340. Bad debts, profit, provision account debit to bad debts in the second year is 1840. What is the closing balance we need to have? It's 4600. So the balance which we should be carried down would be 4600. Balancing figure, debit or credit, as the case may be. In this case, it would be, we adjusted to the profit and loss account, 900. What does this mean? The amount of provision is in excess and is written back. So what happened is, we had a balance of 7340. We adjusted 1840 bad debts. And therefore got <clears throat> 5,500 5, is the balance. But the balance we required was only 4,600. So an amount of 900, an amount of 900 had to be written back to the profit and loss account. This is how normally provision would be created where each debtor's accounts would be looked into. We would see what is doubtful and create a provision for the doubtful debts. So we have followed the second method here. Provision was created in the first year. In the second year, we saw the amount of bad debts, adjusted the amount of bad debts against the old provision. 
The new provision required is 4600. Of course, we needed to compute only the old and the new provision. Nevertheless, we've just taken a look at the accounting entries. What happens? New provision 4600, but we have a balance of 5500. Therefore, an amount of 900 is written back to the profit and loss account. We reduce the provision for doubtful debts, debit provision for doubtful debts, and credit profit and loss account.